Hi folks, net 921 a here again. I've had a couple of requests on uh, how to build Edwin Gray's circuit that I've been working on. Um, so I'm going to go through that. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Tesla's patent on radiant energy. Okay, figure two, he shows a, a Rinken or Leonard tube uh, firing out what I'm going to say is radiant matter charging up a negative or positively charged plate which charges up the capacitor which then runs the circuit. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind when you're looking at Edwin Gray's circuit. We're looking at a vac you know, vacuum type tube, single electrode, firing out either X-rays, radiant matter or cathode rays, I think it's radiant matter, which charges up the plate. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention the radiant matter here travels in straight lines. Okay, from the, so from the uh, the plate here, K okay, travels in straight lines, hits the plate. Very important. Okay, you can see here this is the uh, thyrotron vacuum tube, whatever you want to call it. So where the plate should be on that side or that side, it's very unclear at this point. But if this truly runs on Tesla technology, then you would imagine that plate there needs to have line of sight to that charge receiving grid for it to work properly. Right? That's that's the whole way this circuit works. So that's very important, and it's good, it's good, it travels in straight lines from there to the charge receiving grid. So the the schematic here is sort of right, but sort of not right. Um, if that's how it works, and I'm pretty confident that's how it works. So you've got a, a radiant matter stream traveling from here, hitting the charge receiving grids, which powers up the capacitor, which then uh, you know makes that coil work, and makes the motor work, and charges up the charge receiving battery. Over, over here, that's the primary there. Um, okay, uh, my circuit starts with 36 volts, uh, powering a uh, MJ2114 transistor. It's pretty much a, uh, a Bedini type circuit in this section here. Uh, the only modification here is there's a 470 ohm uh, resistor there, which is pretty standard, IN4001. The only modification here is I'm using a MOT fan, which is just basically a modified PC fan, uh, and you'll have to refer to the MOT thread uh, on how to build that. I'm not going to cover that. Uh, the reason I'm using that is it reduces the amp draw, which is pretty important. Uh, and the other modification is uh, I've got an IN4007 diode there going to the positive cap instead of a battery. Uh, and we've got the positive of the power coil connecting to the negative of the cap, uh, which then goes to the ignition coil. And that goes up to the bridge rectifier which is then charging up the cap and I've added that diode there as exactly the way Gray shows in the schematic. I've added another coil here going to uh, the spark gap with the grids uh, and I've got oh yeah, the spark gap requires about a one millimeter gap between the spark gap and the grids uh, which then I've got a, a carbon block, there's my thyrotron and a commutator and then it goes back to back to the positive of the primary battery. So then the grid goes to another coil which goes to the positive of another cap and connected in series with the charging battery. And then the negative goes back to the negative of the primary battery. 
Now to start it, you turn the power on and spin the, um, the Emotec fan over here. Go spin that. Got an on and off switch there, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so at the moment, I've been tinkering around with trying to line the plate on the Thyrotron up with the grids. Uh, and, and I've been checking the charge battery to see what the results are now. What I'm seeing in the circuit so far is that there's plenty of voltage but no current or very little current so it it, it attempts to charge that battery up and it pushes it all the way up and as soon as you turn the circuit off it drops all the way back down again but it does seem to charge a little bit so maybe you know, I'm not running it for very long so maybe I need to let it run, run for a bit longer. Okay, so it's quite evident in this circuit, grey is, is trying to maintain a, a predominantly one sign in the circuit. So it's positive here, positive there, and uh, pretty much it, it reads exactly as per the Tesla rating energy paint. If you read it carefully, um, it mentions that the circuit should be predominantly one sign, and if you if you fire uh, your uh, your your vacuum tube or X-ray tube, cathodic tube, whatever you want to call it, in straight lines with a plate, so that you plate the charge with any grids, then you'll get a charge. Okay, so it's a I'm pretty much convinced at this point. The Thyrotron 28 here is the key, and you can pick these up on eBay. They're not very expensive. Um, I looked the other day, and I'm, you know, three dollars, five dollars. They're, they're fairly easy to get their hands on them. Uh, the only mystery bit there is the grid there isn't connected to anything, and I suspect what's happening here is that the um, it may not need to be connected to anything because we're putting impulses through it and from what I can tell mine seems to be working so and my grid's not the grid's the middle bit there with the, the dotted lines uh, mine's not connected to anything so I've tried it that way and the other way and uh, so whether I had it connected up wrong or right it appears to be um, Oh, I can see blue flashes going off in there, so something's happening. Um, so that's that's interesting that it, it appears to be working without the grid connected. And so yeah, you got a positive, very quick deep, uh, pulse coming through here. Now whether that's a pure DC pulse or a radiant positive pulse coming through here uh, remains to be seen. Um, but I think the key here is lining that plate up there with the plate on the Thyrotron. I've tried a vacuum tube uh, triode and I couldn't get that to work, so a Thyrotron appears to work. And if you carefully look through the references to this patent, he does refer to a Thyrotron in one of his references, so, um, so that's what I've done. Had a very quick look through 